Do you ever wish you could have a life do-over similar to a makeover or a house renovation? A chance to try something again with a different result? Try Again with Monique is a place where life's many questions and challenges will be addressed with inspiration, with humor, and real talk. You will either be inspired to try life again, over and over again, or make some really good lemonade from those sour lemons. Either way, I got you. Before we start the next episode, I want to thank everyone who has taken the time to listen to any or all of the Try Again with Monique episodes. Please continue to listen as we are improving all the time. I would love to have your direct involvement in a future episode I am planning titled Real Talk. In that episode, I will read and respond to your answers to the question, what is one thing that happened to you this week that made you feel loved? What is one thing that happened to you this week that made you feel loved? Please leave a voice recording at my Linky page. That is linky.page slash try. L-I-N-K-Y dot P-A-G-E slash try. Once again, that's linky.page slash try. And I need you to click on the talk back button at the bottom of the page and then leave me a voice message answering that question. What is one thing that happened to you this week that made you feel loved? And I, uh, if you do that for me, that would be great. And then know that your responses will appear on my Real Talk episode coming soon. I look forward to hearing from you. All right, now let's get ready to hear today's episode. Decisions and consequences. Consequences and decisions. One cannot exist without the other. They are interconnected and joined at the hip. You can't make a decision without a consequence attached to it, and you likely won't make a consequence that isn't rooted in a decision. You may have heard you are free to make your own decision, but you are not free from the consequence of that decision. Nobody is. The great equalizer is every human on the planet must face the consequences of the decisions they make. So knowing that, it is really important that we make wise decisions and think about the potential consequences when making a decision, especially big ones. Obviously, you can't control every aspect of your life, But you can put some forethought into the other side of your decision, which is the consequence or outcome, prior to making it. That way, you will lessen the chance of being victim to your circumstance, of blaming other people for the end result, and of receiving bad outcomes. Now, I know there are exceptions to this rule. You aren't always able to steer your decisions in the direction of a desirable outcome. Sometimes even with foresight and forward thinking, things can go wrong on the other side of a decision, or you can suffer a consequence from a decision you didn't make. An example is, you know, getting fired or laid off from your job. If you end up in financial ruin as a result, that is obviously not a consequence of your decision. Those exceptions aside, What I hope to convey through this episode is how vital it is to think more reflectively and proactively when making decisions that affect your life, especially the major ones. So before finalizing your decision and acting on it, consider several avenues of consequences. There's a quote, there is no reset button in life. You can't take anything back and you can't undo anything. All of your actions have consequences. And the things you say and do today will have a lasting impact on the rest of your life. You have to understand that and you have to be aware of it while making your decisions. I'm sure you can think of times you have made a a lasting impact decision for your benefit and others that you have made to your detriment. I'm, I'm thinking of times I've blurted out hurtful words in anger or in frustration and, and hurt someone's feelings as a result. Had I given some thought in those moments before speaking, I would have realized that I'm not likely to control my tongue very well while angry and should be quiet, speak carefully and thoughtfully or not speak at all until I'm calmer. Responding when I'm calmer and more clear-headed would produce an entirely different outcome. Because words cannot be taken back once they leave your mouth. I understand that now. 
Words can heal and uplift, but they can also hurt and destroy. So we have to make intentional and well thought out decisions about when, where, and how we use our words. So often people blame anything or anyone for the outcome or consequence they get. People have even blamed the devil. There's an expression, it's not the devil, it's the decision. And another one, it's not always demons you are fighting. Sometimes it's the consequence of your bad choices and decisions. If you don't pay your mortgage and you spend the money on other things, eventually your house will be placed in foreclosure and you will lose it. You will have stuff but nowhere to put it. The devil is not attacking you in that case. You simply made a decision to spend your money elsewhere. So since every decision has a consequence, you should consider two important factors when making a decision. First, choose carefully and wisely. There's a saying, wisdom is the ability to see the future consequences of your decisions. So ask yourself if you will be happy with the consequence of the decision you are making today, a month, a year, or five years from now. The second factor to consider when making a decision is don't relinquish control of your life by allowing others to make decisions for you. Remember, you will suffer or reap the benefit of the consequence, even if you follow someone else's instruction. There's another quote, do not base your decisions on the words of those who do not have to live with the consequences. An exception to this would be a a group dynamic where there's a unanimous vote or a group consensus. Every, everyone in that case is agreeing to a certain action and will equally share in the consequence of said action. But when someone is advising you to do what they would do in a given situation, if their advice is wrong or misguided, you and you alone will suffer the consequence. And you can't blame the other person because ultimately you decided to follow their advice and act on it. There's a scripture, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. You become what you think about. So it's it's vital that we check ourselves mentally emotionally and spiritually before making decisions, especially big or life-altering ones. If you're tired, frustrated, angry, impatient, maybe just hold off on making that decision until your mind is clear and you're more settled. I can't emphasize enough. Consider carefully the potential consequences of any decision you make before making them. Because one bad, hasty, or poorly thought out decision could change the entire trajectory of your life. A really bad outcome could set you back for years. The goal is to be able to live, have peace with the consequences of your decisions. Treat decisions like a game of chess, always thinking of your next move and the outcome before you act. I'm going to end with several quotes. The first, People do not realize how important decisions are until they make the wrong one. Second one, freedom is being able to live with the consequences of your decisions. Third one, the consequences of today are determined by the actions of the past. To change your future, alter your decisions today. And finally, the final quote is the one I started with. You are free to make your own decisions, but you are never free from the consequences of those decisions. So choose wisely. Thank you for taking the time to listen to or watch Try Again with Monique, wherever you happen to be. Please remember to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes are available. Please like us on Facebook as well. Episodes will be posted weekly. Try Again with Monique is a production of GM Associates, released under Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives 4.0 International License. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique.